Hello, I'm Andy Graves with Crochet 123 Magazine. Today I am demonstrating the techniques you'll need to make the Intermediate Broomstick Lace Scarf in Issue 11. If you haven't tried Broomstick Lace before, watch the beginner and novice videos to get started. In the earlier scarves, we've been using just regular single crochet stitches into loops off the broomstick loop pass. For this one, we're actually going to be using a pattern stitch. And I've got a couple rows here work so you can sort of see what it looks like. This is our row of stitches worked into the loops. And as you see, it's got a little bit of a wave. And we're working with groups of four loops. So we start the same way we start with any of our loop passes when we're working back into it. We're going to do a locking chain stitch. So I'm going into my stitch, my loops, bringing up a loop and making a chain stitch. And then I'm going to slide these all off. So now I have those out of the way and my pin set aside. I'm going to work two single crochet. Now the two groups of four loops at the ends, each ends of this scarf, are worked with two single crochet in order to keep the ends from sliding in. Next, we're going to work double crochets into the next group of four loops. So let me get the four loops. And an important aspect of this is that you need to wrap the yarn around your hook before going into the loops to work them. Similar to if you're working a regular double crochet in uh, traditional crochet work, you have to wrap the yarn before you insert the hook into the stitch that you're going to work into. So we're going to go into these four loops now that I've wrapped the yarn. We're going to pull up a loop and then work a typical double crochet. We chain one, work another double crochet into our group of four. Chain one, a third double crochet into our group of four. Chain one, and the final double crochet. Now we've created a nice little fan stitch into this group of four double crochets. And our initial two stitches anchored this fan. Now we need to anchor the fan again. So we're going to come over here to our next group of four, grab and make a single crochet. We get to the end here. We've got four loops remaining. We go into those four loops. We're going to do one single crochet that anchors our fan. And then we're going to do a second single crochet because that's our bordering. Then we chain six, three, four, five, six. And we're going to turn our work. We're going to find the center of our fan, which is the chain one space. And we're going to work two single crochet. Then we're going to chain three. And we're going to make a double crochet that's going to go down into the single crochet that we worked before in this group of four. And this is what creates a little lattice across the fan so the fans are visible. Chain three again, two single crochet into the chain one space of our next fan. Chain three, double crochet into the next single. Chain three, two more single crochet into this chain one space in our last fan. Chain three, and we're going to double crochet, not in the next single crochet stitch, but in the last one. And as you can see, this creates a little framework above our fan stitches. Now, we could work a broomstick lace pass, but we would be working on the back of our work. As you see, I'm still got the back of the work facing me, and it's a little cleaner on this side. So, we're now going to chain one, and we're going to work single crochets. We're going to work a single crochet in each stitch, and we're going to work an equivalent number of single crochets into the chain space. This is a chain three, so we're putting three single crochet in there. Once we complete this row, we're ready to begin another loop pass. 
And you're going to continue on in this way for your scarf, repeating loop pass, pattern stitch, after loop pass. For the edging for our intermediate level scarf, we're going to get to the end of our pattern stitch into the loop stitch. We're going to chain one, and we go ahead and turn the work. We're going to do a single crochet into the first single crochet, chain one, skip the next two stitches, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain two, do a single crochet into the center chain one space, chain two, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, and slip stitch into our single crochet. Chain one, and we're going to repeat what we just did. Single crochet into the chain one space, chain two, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain two, single crochet into the next one, chain one, slip stitch, chain one. We're going to continue on this way to the end of our row, and we've got one more row before we're completed. One thing about this is it just emphasizes the scallop shape at the end of our scarf. And our last single crochet is going to go into the very last stitch. So we've done another chain one and a single crochet, repeating what we did at the beginning. Now we're not going to chain, we're just going to turn our work. And now we've got the right side of the fabric facing us. So we're going to have a nice finish here. We're going to do a single crochet in the first chain one space of the previous row. Actually, we're going to do two single crochet there. Then we're going to skip to the chain two space and do two single crochet here. Now we're going to put two single crochet into the center single crochet stitch. Onto the next chain two space with two single crochets. One single crochet into the next chain. Now this is going to be this is going to be actually uh, single crocheting two together. So we're going to insert our hook into this chain one space, pull it up, insert our hook into the next chain one space, pull up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook. We're going to pull through all three of those. That's going to close it together. Then we're going to skip to our next chain two space and do two single crochet, two into this single crochet here, two into the next chain two space, and one loop, two loops, two single crochet together into the next two chain one places. Our last scallop here, two into here, two into this last chain two space, and then to end off this row, we're going to put two single crochet into the next chain one space, and we're going to slip stitch snugly into this last single crochet. Whoops. And of course my yarn's getting away from me. There we go. Pull through, snug that up, and voila, you've got a pretty little scalloped end on your scarf.